Welcome to Myth Busters Down Syndrome Edition. My name is Erin Waddyham. Hi, my name is Dr. Katherine Garforth from Garforth Education. Hi, my name is Eleanor Stewart, and I'm from the Down Syndrome Resource Foundation. I'm the Director of Education and Services. And we're here to dispel some myths about Down Syndrome. People with Down Syndrome are stubborn. Nope, I could change my mind in a world most. Yeah. I've seen you be very flexible and change your mind. I think one of the reasons why this happens is because there is that issue with the auditory processing and slow processing speeds and their ability to understand and take apart the language that's being said to them. If an individual with Down syndrome is presented with the information, they can understand it if it's presented to them in a way that they can understand in a vocabulary that they can understand. Now, this doesn't mean talking down to them like they're a baby. It means presenting that at a level that they can understand and they can have flexible thinking. And I would add to that if, you, if, if information is presented with choice too, right? And it's so, so easy to incorporate choice. Um, and as soon as you in my experience, as soon as you incorporate choice into your conversation, then suddenly that student has some autonomy and has some say in, in their life. And, you know, and I think that's often what we see is the stubbornness comes from, they don't have control, about, control over what's happening, right? Or, they, or as you were just saying, they don't understand what's gonna happen next. So, you know, giving choice and also giving knowledge about the sequence or what's going to happen next and that you know you think about that i i was at a a conference once and the woman she had a really good example of how you know when we're in our cars and there's a traffic jam and we can't you don't know what's happening right and you're you're like oh and you start to get anxious and kind of irritated because you have no idea how long you're going to be stuck in that traffic jam but when you bring in that visual piece of you know google maps that says oh there's a five minute traffic jam then your anxiety your irritation kind of reduces because you're like oh okay at least i know that i'm stuck here for five minutes and i can see you know that visual shows you where that traffic jam is and you can see that it clears up a few kilometers down the road and i i find that really is a good example for the students that we work with because who doesn't want to know what's coming next, right? I always want to know kind of what, I hate it when a surprise is thrown at me or, you know, my husband's like, suddenly we gotta, we gotta go out and pick up, you know, some random errand that was not in my plan. That's, I just, I think it just really, it's, I just, I get that. I really, I connect with that stubbornness because. Well, and I don't think it's right to say that people with Down syndrome are stubborn. I think it's weird to say that people are stubborn. It doesn't matter that they have Down syndrome. Yeah. Because people by nature are stubborn and there are better ways of approaching things to reduce that tendency to stubbornness. Yeah. And we just need to take that one or two steps more to make sure that the individual with Down syndrome has all the information that they need to have that understanding of why something is happening. Yeah. The ability to change their perspective. And again, that has to do with executive functioning and cognitive flexibility and giving them the skills to see other scenarios and opinions on a situation.